okay? Do you want to see us? We are very busy, but we love making this podcast. And if we hit 500 likes, we will guarantee a video next week. No matter what, I'll be here alone. Rakesy, whatever happens, if somebody's gone, be here. we're going to talk alone if we have to. We'll probably all be, all be here, here though. Five yep. like we'll video next week, no matter yep. what. All right. All you got to do is click a man. button. You want yeah, it? Yeah. Yes. If it's, yeah. As close to 499. As far no. close to 500 as possible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If it's close, it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related content with RuneScape-related content creators. I'm Mitt Cat, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rexy, as always. And it's me, Vice Club. Hello. Yo, welcome back to the Scuffed Podcast, dude. It's been five months. First podcast this year. Whole new game, RuneScape 4. How you guys doing? Wait, is this really <laughs> the first podcast of the year? Maybe not. I don't, I don't remember. No, no, no. Let me Let me double check for you guys. The last I've podcast was on May, I think. By the way, I hate the shame Rakesy uh, right now, but he did not keep his beard packed. Oh, okay, man. boys, and I did. All right, the Corona beard, okay. the man pack. Look at this thing, dude. All right, listen, chat. mate. I might have Rakesy. shaved the beard, but yeah. I have not shaved my hair in like four months, mate. My hair <laughs> is the longest it's ever. Like, look wow, at this. Wow, what is this? Yeah, mm. my my hair is so long right now. It's the longest it's ever been. You look like, like British dude, I, think, I could go for like that <laughs> chubby emo look. Yeah, you know? dude, look at it's that so emo Rexy, bro. So pretty much, I cut my hair, not the beard. You cut your beard, not the hair. So if we combined, we'll be one mm. gross looking dude. That's hot. Yeah, yeah we'll I cut my hair. <laughs> and right, yeah. down there in the military. Yeah, Rezo. <laughs> He's got what? a buzz yeah. cut down yeah, there, man. Of course. <laughs> Yo, man, I like the hair thick little goatee. I like the whatever that is, man. Short hair. Oh like wait, bro. Wait, Reed's got a goatee? One sec, let me see this. Oh, nah, I cut this like every few days. I forgot to cut it. Uh, <laughs> it's dude, okay, it's not bad. Dude, he looks that's like one of those anime man. characters that. Huh? that smokes a cig in the background of the school, you know? He looks like one of those guys. <laughs> really? Nah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Fuck smoking, bro. All right. Unless it's weed. All right, but... Well, yeah, but there you go. Yeah, um, should we get on to this? Should we get on yeah, to this? Yeah, let's do it. Gillenor Gazette, June 2020. It's a huge post um, made by... I think not one, but like 20 J mods. I didn't even know we had 20 J mods. There's like yeah, a list of names. Big. Down it's kind of big, bro. And yeah. I just have to say, when I read this first, I didn't read all of it because I want to save it for the podcast, but this was well written. There was no riddles, there was information, not about everything, but they answered questions that we had. Right. So great job. This is fantastic. Um, have fantastic you guys looked into this at all? It's 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 really I, a good read. I I've skimmed through all and I've read the PvP version in detail. Yeah, but uh, and anyways, shall shall we uh like I'm I'm gonna quickly go over the structure here. So they got a lot yep. of things to talk about. Like no, not just updates. You know, just like the in and outs, the the specifics, the behind the scenes stuff too, uh, as well of different projects that they're working on in the future. So uh, they broke it down into five different topics. Project update, clans update, PvP fission update, old school arts direction, old schools in and out. That makes me So angry. there's a lot. Of, this, this is, the, this is yeah. ambiguous, but you know, we'll, we'll get old into that. Art direction. Yeah. What? I guess we'll check that. Yeah, that's, so Rake's that's the only has an hour. So I, I'd like to take my time, but we should probably just pop into it really, dude. There's yeah, so much yeah, to go. Man. Yeah. So this Gazette thing is a new style. They've only done this like maybe once or twice. It's like a bulk, heard, you know, bulk. I heard that's what the newspaper in Brock is called, isn't it? Yeah, the Gazette. Well, the Gazette is like a thing in real life, too, where it's yeah. like a big... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I know that, but yeah. I'm saying like... Yeah, it's yeah, kinda yeah. Cool. That Sounds good. That I, I'm pretty sure a project update on this is just like an overview of all of the things. If you take well, it, just, it gives... So the first thing it starts out with Leagues. Leagues has officially started development, right? So Twisted League Exciting. was the first one. Rank 49, Dragon Cup, top 1%. All right, we'll get that out of the way. Detailed design work, designing the list of relics and tasks. So there's going to be different relics, different tasks, different areas. Um, and then, Re, we were talking about the leagues, like what they could be. And I think they were kind of playing with the idea of lo- unlocking new areas, like you said. Yeah. Like you start yeah, Lumbridge, yeah. you could unlock Varrock or something. That's so one of their options, here, yeah. I read that somewhere. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's in here though. But... It, it, yeah. it is. It is because they have a is whole okay. thing on it. Yeah. Awesome. 
So um, I don't know if you guys want me to keep going or we could take turns here. <laughs> There's so oh, much. Yeah, yeah, you can you can cover this. You can cover the project update. Oh, okay. Yeah, you cover this one, dude. You cover this oh, one. I wanted to cover that. Okay. Uh, early game improvements, a number of minor changes to tutorials are being tested. Um, adventure paths. So these are for like new players. I don't really yeah, yeah, know accounts. too much about this. Yeah, so. They're trying to make it basically more new player friendly. So people don't like randomly die and lose like 5 GP and quit the game kind of deal cool they're gonna okay. make it so that like you know it's uh, like you obviously know where you need you need to go for like quest and stuff you know for, for new they, they seem to be they, doing they've a done lot a good of cool job of that so far yeah. <clears throat> yeah i like how easy to make did you see that they donated sixty thousand dollars to some really good uh charities for yeah. uh the no, Black Black i didn't movement. see that yeah I didn't see it. yeah the, the, the sad thing is though on twitter they tweeted it and everyone's like if you're so against racism why don't you ban the racist people and i was like ah, yeah. these guys are it's Look, a real well, spaghetti comments. code, man. You yeah. know, they could, they, they definitely could. It's just probably the spaghetti code makes it hard. Or, or we're, the we're, fact we're, that they're not in the office makes it hard, too. Yeah. 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 I, I expect so. Yeah. I, I think they should, though. Like 100%. Oh, yeah, everybody. Like, the, the blatantly yeah. racist words need to be just. Yeah. They, they got to update their engine. So that shit, like, it just was completely. Every content creator, everybody yeah. that has any sort of cloud on Twitter, just posting, just destroying them on a charitable donation. I'm like, it's like, it's, it's, not it's the fair right time, though, because be they don't ban them. But yeah, I just good. don't maybe think they will. The right time though, you know. Early game yeah. improvements, early game racist detection. You never know, dude. But yeah. <laughs> all right, a little sidetrack there. Um, you know, there, just... there is actually a downside to racism being <laughs> really not yeah. yeah. Do, do you actually want? Do I actually want to know for real what it is? So well, it the, the, the people that actually spam the racist words will no longer get banned. Okay, because they just won't even be able to type them in game. Unless as soon as you type in a racist word, imagine your account just get insta banned, uh, <laughs> just like dude. gone. Imagine yeah, if they I mean they just need a way to actually like filter out the words because like there's ways to bypass the thing. Like, well, the... I had a white supremacist follow me on my Snapchat. I blocked him, but there's racist people playing RuneScape. Oh yeah, yeah there's a lot of trolls too that also act racist. Oh right? yeah, that's they, true. They I don't, that. I don't want to derail this. Yeah, so we yeah. gotta. Anyways, we got clans, bro. But my bad. but yeah, like clans. Yeah, that's one of those. The, the most race, no. <laughs> yeah, RuneFest <laughs> things. Like, that's a RuneFest thing. They're working on that. So, it should be out at some point alongside Group Iron Man. Because, like, they they go in tandem. The clan system and oh, Group Iron Man are. Yeah, are they're updating the clan tandem. system, right? They're making it so that. Uh, you can actually have, like, a can, clan, a proper clan, like. You can system. have people add rank instead of you, <laughs> yeah. which I always wanted. So, that's awesome. And then, yeah, yeah like you said, like Group the Iron one Man. From Mars 3, the original RuneScape, they had something like that. Oh, it's RS Group Iron Man podcast. Uh, a kingdom divided. As with last month, there's no new progress uh, to report a kingdom divide. Is that a quest? Yeah, that's a new Zaya storyline that they're working on. Anyone like a, keeping up with the Zaya lore? Woo, yeah. baby. It's, it's, it's something for everybody here. It's something for everybody. Bit. We got some lore. We got some <laughs> updates. PvP. We'll get into that, but you can read more about PvP in the Gazette. Uh, last few months have seen a lot of action courtesy of the 1v1 tournament, the Denimo tournament. 1v1 tournament they could bring that back achievements pvm this still remains only a high a very high level concept like, achievements are gonna be adding yeah they're trying to diaries. do like yeah they're trying to do something like diaries for pvm but that's just far away far far I thought away that was the collection log you're gonna no, get like one kb like head in the future and unlock like 10 things on yeah, collection logs just more of yeah. everything together <laughs> okay the pvm right, is more well. like you, there's a certain challenge and you Beat it and you get a check mark kind of deal. Speaking of PVM, shout outs to Exact for the 40 level Inferno. Fuck oh, yeah, man. Christ. Yo, Reed, did you see that? Uh, well, yeah, I watched the video. I didn't get to see it live, but yeah, I watched oh, the I video. I didn't see it live either. I just saw the picture, but. Do, yeah. do you want to know something funny, mate? He got a four, like the same day that he got his 40 combat Inferno, like he literally used Fire Strike to get through the fucking waves. Okay, understand, like for the yeah. Inferno. That's right, it, and yeah, that's probably probably took like ten hours. The that's same day that hours. the same day he achieved that, I achieved my first corrupted gauntlet kill. And as <laughs> yeah, soon as I watched him get the inferno cape, I was just like, "I'm so shit at this game." <laughs> you can't even brag. You're like, uh, uh, I mean, it's not relative, it's like, bro. You know, I, this man. I was. He's 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 done some science, you know, at the inferno. Yeah, bro, make dude, it we need to have him on for a podcast and just pick yeah. his brains, dude. Oh, we should. We definitely should, man. Yeah. Definitely exact should. podcast, should, two thousand likes, bro. We should have. I think we should have Wooks on as well. And, yeah, uh, dude, I, I got think, him on speed yeah, dial. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could probably try to get Exact or something, but I don't know. Dude, 
Let's do it, mate. Uh, yeah, I, high I wanna, school proms, I wanna, we already know oh, that one. <laughs> I want to see what happens it. when we get two big brains in the podcast at once. Maybe not. Oh, big chaos. We need to get them comfy. <laughs> we got to get them comfy their solo, you know? Yeah. Oh, yo, so next one. Uh, high school uh, problems, high school it's problems. already not a big deal. So, yeah, apparently they're trying to fix high scores. So they're just really laying out what a problem is and then what they're kind of working on or that they know that it's there. Because oh, RuneScape yeah. has a shit ton of problems, and I swear they do. Do not talk about them. Mm. So this is progress. Uh, Soul Wars, which is going to be where the Darkmire area is. I haven't done the quest. Actually, uh, no, 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 no. Soul Wars is no, separate. It's not. Yeah, Soul Wars is Soul Wars from the original RuneScape. You know, like it used to be in Edgeville, <laughs> but, but I don't think it matters it's not where gonna it is. Be, it's not going to be at the new area? They're just... No, no, no. It's not there. Oh, they're just not, saying Soul Wars is a mini Bro, Yeah. If they put it in the new area, so many noobs will complain. There are yeah, so many it'll, probably, it'll will... probably be in like Farrak or something or Edgeville. Like I think I skimmed it too fast because when I first read that, I was like, that is such a weird place to put soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so they're they're trying to bring that back. It. Dude, I can't believe they're bringing that back though. I, like so random. Like I didn't see We it don't coming. need more. Yeah. I mean, we really don't need more mini games, but I'm yeah, not going to so, say no. Soul Wars could be pretty fun though. Yeah. Soul Wars could be pretty fun. Minus um, the bots, if you can control the bots. <laughs> and it just says death. It's still being tested. That's kind of dark. What the fuck? Yeah, they they said that we're going to work on it after Demon Mode, but I, th I thought it was going to come out after Demon Mode. But they mean like death mechanics? Cause that, yeah, that's, just what, death, that's what he means, death tested. mechanics. Yeah, he yeah. means death <laughs> mechanics. It should be coming out at, at any time now, pretty much. Clans, so, yeah. Yeah. Just to go over that, right. leagues, clan updates, group Iron Man, right? PvP updates, achievements... <laughs> uh and soul wars and then death so a lot just in that just in that we it's one fourth one fourth yep. that's insane so yep. much info. there we go here's some more detail about the clan update so the progress behind it you want to read that rixie or yeah man let me have a look here then shall i let's see all right we're really getting into the nitty gritty of this update now specifically we've been we've been drilling down on some guest joining issues and further refining the core clan architecture. Mm. Dude, that's a big word, man. Yeah, you guys proud? Word. You did it so well, buddy. I'm so proud. <laughs> Yo, here I'm the, fo <laughs> <laughs> the foundation of the rank system. Uh, it's easier to see progress progress made on the rank system than on some of the other less player-facing systems we've been working on. Many of you have often complained about the inflexibility of the old chat channels. Clans will not only will not only make some immediate improvements, but also allow more scope for future expansion. Good. We've now enabled 15 ranks, or 16 if you <clears> count <throat> the clan owner, and created a drag and drop menu, letting you assign different titles to each rank. The usual military titles... Is that military? The usual military titles are offered? Uh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? Al along with various other tier systems. Dude, hey, this is going to be popping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> metals and gems color codes and much more to cover a wider variety of tastes these ranks will also receive icons although this won't occur until in later development uh, Dude, they have example. one on here somewhere right here. which here's is peon they have peon. one oh, like peon. the rank okay yeah, yeah. is That's it me so or cool. 16 ranks a shit ton of ranks i mean yeah, bro. I, ton, maybe if you're in oblivion oh, or a big clan like that perhaps you need it but like a small we need to clan, make like a maybe um but we need to make like a clan and then get like little yo, little badges bro. and when you rank someone we send it to yeah. them in the mail and they could wear it when they play runescape yo look at the rank dog's body what the fuck is that mm -hmm. rank <laughs> it's gonna be dope though because i can actually start making a, a discord cc that that would be yeah. you know i wouldn't have to monitor here's it the next finally here's the next part yeah that's oh, literally what i'm gonna do as well <laughs> okay uh you can also customize what what action each rank is permitted to take. Uh, these options are currently basic, such as t talking and kicking, but more will be on the way. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, much of the work here focuses on making these systems expandable so that the addition of new ranks and titles won't cause any disruption. We also need, to, we also need the pop-up menu components to be usable uh, with other in-development menus. Creating an expandable and flexible system is inevitably a bit slower uh than just making one off feature but it will pay off in the long run as always we really do appreciate your patience i think it looks good so far. if i remember correctly 
um, with Group Iron Man, wasn't there a problem with the clan system or something? Oh my and god, I, I, Ray I feel like they just, so I feel like they've just remade the entire clan system. Like well, that's what they've there, done. Here. There was a problem in which, let's say you grouped up with somebody, right? But the moment you logged out, the association was reset. So they they had no way to permanently group individual accounts into like one, you know, one body, like one unit in a sense. I don't know layman terms. I don't know the specifics. So like no, they don't good. they don't have that. the coding that allows them. The engine does not allow multiple <clears throat> characters to group up and stay grouped up. So so they so they're creating a system where I guess within the clan system there'll be a way to tie people together. Right, if you're in the same clan, then ID wise, you're like all tied up together, and they're probably gonna use that exact strategy, like the exact coding, to do that for for group Iron Man. Because like it's basically, funny that, oh sorry, keep yeah, going, man. Because like basically, uh, there'll be mini clans. You know, if you have a group of two, you guys are a mini clan of three, like the same, like in in that sense. Yeah, I see. Yeah, What's yeah up, it's man? crazy that like um group iron man is the only reason why we're getting a cc update it's needed for like five yeah. years they're waiting and the for... only reason it's there is because they couldn't do it before That's yeah the they're waiting reason. for like two birds you know they're, they're just trying to kill two birds once though they're like nah just one thing nugget two things this whole time it's been fucked and they're like all right i guess they want a new game mode let's let's fix it let's actually do something oh well oh yeah sure? until it profits them top dollar they're like mm, is it happen? top dollar to really work on that shit like a new a new mode i guess so because every time a new mode comes up people be like you know playing shit hard so yeah, whatever you yeah as long as people are uh, yeah, enjoying like, where, where the money shows bro it, you know that's uh, this cool. new this new um this one or the next yours. one is pretty big this dude. one's all yours the boys pvp vision uh, this is good the, yeah. re, read for it read for it mate oh yeah, i will but if you don't know right now bounty hunter is only <laughs> renowned right now for blighted pouches in the shop that you can use in the wild. The world itself is fucking dead. It's booster central. If yeah, you haven't seen a bounty hunter video, that shit, that's why. I've seen that shit. And it's I think crazy. it's what, version three? Version <laughs> so, three. The return of bounty hunter. Dude, it's already bad. Basically, it's, it's version three of how to boost. <laughs> it just got <laughs> just worse. Like, they, yeah. they just... It's almost like it's on purpose, but I'm not going to say that, right? Yeah. But it, you know, it's, it's funny, bro. We always be like, yo, just like, seriously, it just comes down to the emblems. Like, they need to get rid of that shit and then it, 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 just bring it back to basics, bro. Kill someone for right? the game. Yep. Like, what the fuck? I, don't I know. want yep. that teleporting thing back, too. I mean, you know, yeah. PVM, PVM. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do it. We yeah, want to yeah. reiterate that we are aware of the ongoing concerns of boosting. That's nice. I wish they told us the day one that they were aware of it. Instead, they wait know, until right? now, but whatever. I wish, just fucking say something. We're assessing what to do next. So they <laughs> looks like they're not too sure. When Bounty Hunter was removed earlier this year, we said we'd reconsider Bounty Hunter place in old school if we were unable to deliver a quality experience. So they're actually thinking about taking it and, you know, just gone forever. One solution being considered is the replacement of Bounty Hunter minigame with worlds which have the target system active. So oh, damn. no emblems, just you can go find a target, teleport, murder, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's cool. There's not really reward, but, you know, I like I that mean, idea. I mean, the reward is you kill somebody for their shit, you know? Like, that's the true, OG. That's but, the way to be. You know, that it's true, right? But what's there to just skip you being a target and never getting hunted, right? Yeah. There's got to be something. They got to find a way to deal with the people skipping and it, shit. It just needs a little Dude, tweak. A little I, tweak. At this point, man, I'd be happy if they just brought back Bounty Hunter Crater. Right? We can't even objectively look at any updates. We just got to be like, is there something coming in the game? I'm okay with that because it's something, right? Just yeah. give us something. Yeah. Um, it'd also be possible for us to implement a PJ timer on these worlds. So only those worlds, I'd be okay with that. This would effectively make it a PK in activity without any bespoke rewards. If we do explore this, That's we'd good. move the current rewards, um, like the Vessel Longsword, to be wieldable on targeted worlds. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm-hmm. Removal of PvP worlds, and then I'm pretty sure they just go, uh, we, we've decided against it. Thank God, not really an update. Restrict wilderness access to specific world, another diverse one. This one scared me. I didn't even know they were like Yo, thinking wait, about. Remember taking... we talked about this? I well, remember I talked about it one time. How like we can filter out the uh, the wilderness to a few worlds so that more and more like condense everyone. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying it's an idea. Right? Well, we did talk about. That. We did talk about that, and yeah. like um, and they, more and of like they a... thought about it too. <laughs> yeah, hypothetically, but... you know. This one scares me though, because I think they're they're just talking about 
scrapping every world and leaving only like maybe a handful that you can do wild shit in where it's not like hot i don't know we might have been talking yeah, about they the already thing, set but... another divisive one they know this shit is hella controversial you know thank god they didn't do that because right now i was making a documentary where i go to different parts in the wild and most of those parts are locked down in certain worlds and i'm talking like one yeah, eighth, one tenth of the world's revs so could Basically. you even imagine if there was only a couple worlds those clans would lock that shit down so easily yeah oh yeah I, Clan, clans would dominate if, if, in a that's why oh no, that's that's why that that scared me i was like dude yeah. the way the wilderness is right now it would not be good just remove the wildy and free trade <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's like honestly, about the good the, old the days wildies, the wildy bro you can't really like you know what i mean if you try to change it any way then it's not the wildy you know the yeah, biggest man, thing is gotta be free, bounty baby. hunter i think the biggest problem right. is bounty hunter man take care of that shit yeah, bounty bounty oh, hunter man. I feel like it just needs to. They need to get rid of the emblems or just go back to the old school crater. Just do that. Yeah, the emblems. Oh God, anything that First, basically makes you boost is so stupid. Should be fun, and then it should be profitable. It shouldn't be the other yeah. way around. Um, even yeah. though it's not really now, <laughs> uh, unless you're boosting. Uh, remove high risk worlds. Replace with very high risk worlds. I I really have not. I don't even know what the fuck that means. We'd still like to proceed with this like you lose a bank key like what the fuck is a very high risk world do you guys know did uh i don't i i think well actually, current high risk I is just know. current high risk is just no protect oh, item I, that's it yeah that i know i i think it's like you don't protect item even like you're just scold i i'm i'm taking an educated yeah guess. yeah i think so that's probably it you're just permanent. i think that's what it was so just auto skulls you that's not it doesn't sound very high risk you know very high risk sounds like you lose like half your bank or a yeah level or yeah maybe shit. they like have they make you uh whatever it says see below and they'll tell you more okay yeah so. all right it well so yeah the wilderness hub um resolve last man standing quality issues i heard they wanted to make an lms Baronk map which is just if you scroll down you can see their new map yeah dude it looks awesome i'm so fucking hyped for this man they're bringing back they're bringing out a few maps yo re scroll that's down cool. so we can see the map mm -hmm. look at that so, thing man that's a last man standing map i i dude this is what they have needed for so fucking long last man standing is genuinely the best pvp mini game i i'm gonna say it i think the game's ever had honestly yeah, probably it's I, I very hate to be fun. that guy i hate to be that <sighs> guy Rick, but just the ping for me Makes it oh, like I you know. can't I know. Tick. I know. Uh, yeah. I know. The, the, that, but one, that's dude. that's the crazy thing that even though it's so fucking AIDS and that <laughs> you have to like two weeks on good ping, two weeks on bad ping, but even when it's on your own ping, it's still laggy. It's a terrible world. Oh, but man. with all of those in the way, with all of those hurdles, it's still a very popular and successful mini game. Oh, okay, there's is. no there's no denying that. So there's clearly something that works. Free practice. Like, I've said you it. The ability of free practice hmm. without losing anything is crazy. Exactly. And you don't even get like good rewards and people are still doing it. Like I do it. It's fun. I, I, I think people just need that, the reward to is the ability to practice, you know, like and, and not pay anything other than time. Yeah. But yeah. like there, there's a few there's a few little things the last man standing, which I think I, I'm so glad they're doing something about it. It's like, firstly, right? I don't know if you guys have seen recently. If you've ever looked at the capes that you get from Last Man oh, Standing, they are they, they're <laughs> so underwhelming. Okay. There's a thousand kill, sorry, a thousand win cape, right? Dude, I've played oh, a lot of Last Man idea. Standing. That I've played a lot of lot. LMS. That's yeah. a lot. I've got like combined on both my accounts, maybe 250. And I've played a lot of Last Man Standing. A thousand wins is a fuckload. And the cape is the most underwhelming thing you'd ever see. That's just one thing. It's like, it clo it shows a clear neglect, okay? Secondly, I'm glad they're bringing in these maps. They've needed new maps for Last Man Standing like crazy. Thirdly, there's one more little bone I have to pick. You know you get the little special loot crates that come down from the sky about midway through, and it can give you like a Vesta's Longsword yeah. or a random item. Dude, I don't know if you've seen those crates, Re, but most players don't even fucking see them on the map. They no. are so mundane, and they're the most basic brown looking. Like, you look at it, and you think the message you're going to get from looking inside of that is there is nothing interesting inside of this crate. When in but fact, what, there's actually something good. What, why, why hasn't that been made into know, like right? some sort of awesome yeah. chest? They have that big-ass you know? like, um, coffin thing on Deadman mode. They should have one of those. The, the, yeah. The 
Yeah. Exactly. It, it could even be like a miniature, you know, at TOB when you yeah, get a they purple, need to work for example. That, bro. And <laughs> also, not, there, there's been, bro, yeah, there's been no rotation. Like Rixie, you should just like tweet one of, one of them and then... You should hate well, tweet them. What, <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until them, this honestly. all comes out and see what they've done. Um, and yeah, you're right. I probably should, to be fair. I probably should be. Because that one's so little, easy. That one's so yeah, easy to do. Little Super things easy. like that would just, it would make such a massive difference and it would show that they actually cared about it like last man standing is the most beta game you'll ever come across ever i don't care if it's fucking fortnite and beta or whatever like last man standing is the most beta game you'll come across okay and it just shows like it nothing's changed in over a year it's yeah. been very neglected and i yeah. hope that this is the start of like you know a revamp and they're gonna actually work on it and put time and effort into it because it's a good pvp it's like one of the few good things in PvP. One of the few. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of promise. <clears throat> a lot of promise. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're doing something to it, man. Yeah. I'm glad they are. I'll, I'll definitely give it another try. It's not my favorite game like Racy's, but, you know, I'll give it a try. I, dude, mate, yeah. I, I'm not even kidding, mate. Sometimes I turn my stream on, and I will go into last one standing. I, I know that Ree's been in my chat like, while I've yo, been doing one it. one more game. One more game. Bro, one more game. <laughs> I've been there for, like, three hours, and then I've literally looked at my chat and been like oh shit how long have i done this for and like no, everybody no game. one's talking because my chat don't give a fuck about last man standing <laughs> and no, i'm just it, like oh my god i should go do something else yeah, just, <laughs> just, I, it's it, really man. i love it I lo it's like i love hey i get super tilted but yeah i get drawn in every time yeah. man i just hope they balance it out more too just feels a little unbalanced um well I, I would just like to see rotations in gear and a little bit more effort to be honest, mm -hmm. I'm, right. I'm easy, dude. I just want a little sparkle here and there in my life and a bit of... You need some forward. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, the biggest one is having the multi-style maps would be really good. And hopefully, like, I, structurally, you can take advantage of the terrain maybe a bit more. I don't know. Bro, they, they, they could cool do so much cool. Fuck. Like, um, imagine... All right, this is wild. I went on a tantrum, but this is, this is <laughs> the yeah, let's, tangent. Let's, Sorry, not yeah, tangent. One last one. This is the one thing one. I'll say, okay? Yeah. Last man standing. This map right here, this Varrock Ghost City thing. Right, so I have the twenty-four players. One person at the beginning is basically made into the the tank. Okay, imagine if you go into last one standing, you got a one in twenty-four chance of being a tank. You're given a bulwark. You're given like the best tank gear, just a car in game, and it puts you bang on in the middle. And for that, like for that moment, you are attackable by everybody. If you outlast everybody in that huge shit, you get like really OP gear. If the person that does most damage to you kills you, they get like some crazy buff. All right, I'm talking <laughs> absolute bollocks, but like that could be something really cool, man. Like, why the fuck not? They could do this. Uh, more like, like throw modes. more in there. Fuck I it. think you're talking about different modes rather than different areas. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you know, they just need variety like, um, and like, why yeah. not? Kind of like, uh, what's that? What's that Mario game where you play with your friends and you have Mario Party, right? Yeah. And it's like everything's a mini game. It just rolls out. It's like, oh, someone's gonna be a tank this time. Oh, someone's gonna, you know, it's every game is just like a, a roll, and then something mm. happens, and you just go. With yeah, it, they could right? they could go ham with that yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. more. It's, yeah. This is a custom PvP zone in a sense. So yeah, one dude's Jad, right? right? What if you just turn into Jad? One in hundred chance to turn into Jad, and you just start one hitting people. <laughs> I think that it'd be cool if it. That'd be badass. Um, they also Yo, want to uh, cool. redesign wilderness bosses. We're this still keen cool. on this, but um, no progress as of far. Yeah, so you yeah. still save it's, spot every boss. It's, it'll be a while, bro. It'll be a while. I hope okay. that they do this and they make the bosses either more mechanically uh, yeah, like, um, like skillful actually, but easier to kill, but with better loot. Right? Yeah, not There's just hit be about. you for like 50 every two seconds randomly. For, for no real. Reason, you know? <laughs> it's got to it's gotta have some because it's a wild boss, right? If yeah. your food's gone, you're dead. Yep. Uh, World 45 Dead Man Mode. I personally want this to be deleted, right? Because, you know, un unless they're not going to do anything I with feel it. Like I feel like it takes away have, like... from the PvP community overall. Yeah, that is true. I was hoping that they would add like a 45 like Dead Man Mode. They were even talking about it. Um, I can't remember. But like uh, they could add like a fun server, like Dead Man Mode fun server. I kind of had that idea a while back. So. I would only want this world to be deleted if they add something fun that has something to do with PvP because I don't, I, I don't know. World 45 Dead Mode is kind of a snoozer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a mini private server. Mm -hmm. it's and it's just yeah. run by one clan. It's, you know, you go to Hobgoblin, start training, and all of a sudden full unstretchable team will pull up. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> they're just sitting there wanking too. They love it. Uh, Wilderness PGA Timer. Another one we're unsure about. 
they want to add that to every world. Um, I hope not, because then boxing would be pretty prominent, and you can't really report anybody these days. So, would you think yeah, reporting for I'm boxing sure would even even, even would matter? Yeah. Yeah. Last man stand queuing. This is nice to have, but not keeping our plans. We think queuing changes we're making. I hope they're talking about you know if you're wood cutting and then you get thrown into a game because that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, yo, that'd be yeah. sick, dude. That'd be that'd be, that'd be so good. Because I would do that too. Uh, like like sometimes you gotta wait for people to do shit. And they'd be like, oh, I got I gotta eat ten minutes, to fifteen. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, like, you, they can make it like go. every fifty minutes of the game. You know, they could spread it you, out you know, so you can actually skill. And stuff. I feel like this is probably very under, uh, like the underdogs, like uh, idea. But like honestly, queuing would make PvP so much more, uh, I would say, popular amongst everybody. Because right now, if you want to go PvP, you gotta like go there. And then you gotta find a fight and stuff like that. You gotta go to the place that you you know to to do the fight. But if you do, you yeah, have a queuing middle, system, bro. It's so easy because you don't have to go anywhere. You can just like click the button, boom. In a, in a yep. minute or two, you get sent to the place and you, you do the thing. It's like yeah, I, that's I what think you we need, need both. You know, where you find you someone and then when you get queued, I think both would be fantastic. Yeah, right? like the wilderness is one of those you gotta go there and you gotta find somebody. But like yeah. obviously that that shouldn't all be the only PVP, right? Like because. Cause like yeah, in every yeah. other game, all you do is fucking click and wait, and then you you get loaded into a, whatever. Yeah, I would actually get total level up if I could just queue into like a one v one rank and just level yeah, exactly, up as man. I'm like. That's great. huge, bro. I mean, we always hammer that shit, but like honestly, like it's so funny that in all of the decades of RuneScape, we we finally have thought of this idea of queuing up people to do PvP stuff. It's like fucking 2020. Fucking 20 years, bro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so funny because, like, we should have had this shit 10 years ago, bro. We would have been, like, the pioneers. We should have it. We should you have know? it for all mini games, dude. It should be Clown Wars, Castle Wars. The I know, whole right? Thing. Like, it's so stupid. Trouble like, brewing. Man, I can't believe we don't have this shit. Like, it's so dumb. Like, every other game that's popular, obviously, they queue you up. But, like, yeah, we can't do that for mini games and PvP, like, things like Last Man Standing. It's, it's like, what the fuck? Anyways, bullshit, man. Yeah, no, nah, they, they they needed that for a long ass time. That's so funny. hopefully soon, hopefully soon, we'll yeah, see. We need that, that should be the dude. first step. Uh, yo, Rexy, can you read that word that's coming up here? <laughs> Wait, which one? Good luck. Uh, it's uh, some enclave. Oh, Ferox. <laughs> dude, that's. I think that's right. I don't even know. I, that I would awesome. say Ferox, but yeah, Ferox, 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 maybe Ferox. Yeah. We don't. It's a made-up word, dude. You know. So whatever. <laughs> Anything's right to me if it's a made-up word. Call it Frox. Yeah. Frox. I, I think Frox. This, by the way, yo, you know, Clorox, Ferox. Clorox. <laughs> I, I think this is super cool, right? So this is the Wilderness Hub. I really like this. So we've mentioned the Wilderness Hub a few times. So you're probably wondering what it is. Here is Mod Oasis. By the way, just to confirm, I had this conversation with the missus. An oasis. What is the definition of an oasis, Ray? Starbucks. Or mint. Ass cheeks. I don't know, dude. It, it, I think it's I, like an I, island. No, no. I said that an oasis is effectively like, it, it's like a perfect habitat, which is found in a place. Yeah, which that's unlikely. very not so, livable. Yeah, yeah. So like the desert, and then you, all of a sudden you come oasis. across like a stream, and there's and like pond, vegetables or whatever. Shit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. Is that like the def... <laughs> Chat... Not chat. Comment. Let, let us know what, let us know what the definition of an oasis is. Yeah, it's like an I mean, oasis is like you're, no Google, you're in dude. the no Google. Dude, you're in the desert, your mate. Knowledge. You've got like your shirt as a fucking hat. You're dying, and then all of a sudden you see, you know, you're mirage and you're yeah. tripping out. <laughs> all of a second you find you see like a pineapple tree, and there's like a little fucking stream. Okay. That's right, a bro. beautiful okay, oasis. Tangent time limit has been. Right, exceeded. But when he okay. said vegetables and he's talking about pineapples, man, I'm thinking like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like no, some carrots man, in this bitch. He meant Dude, vegetables, I'm, parentheses, oh, and fruits. He's got some I'm turnips. I'm thinking of some onions, mate. Have There's you guys seen onions? that? What, what's that film called by Disney? Holes. Yeah, you guys oh, seen I, that dude, film? I have that shit in VHS, Holes. bro. Dude, that yeah, film's quality, man. We watched that. Yeah, dude. That's such a that good fucking film. VHS, film. Though, yeah. bro. I can sell for a thousand dollars. Yeah, VHS, dude. I got that shit over there. VHS, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't have any VHS. I, I don't have a VHS player anymore, though, so I don't know how how to play it. That's just so that big ass tape, you know. Like, <laughs> oh man, I miss those, dude. Uh, so, dude, that was shit. right, sorry, uh, we got off track yeah. there. Sorry, mod, mod oasis. Uh, let us know your definitions, boys. Uh, to walk you through Ferox's enclave, which we hope to release next month. The beginner of this, uh, the beginning of this update next month. Start dude. with a simple idea. Damn. Soon, yeah, next Holy month. Shit. Oh, dude, that's sick. Oh, I'm hyped. All right, bravo, Jagex. Love you. Um, how can we unite the wide variety of PvP in the old school? 
while also creating a new home for current and future content. The idea of found roots in the heart of the wilderness and within the, 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 the decrepit ruins of a long forgotten civilization, Ferox Enclave was born. And beautiful, dude. Fer Ferox and the old Zamorakian uh, Acolyte. Acolyte. Acolytes? Yeah. Is that Ooh, how you say it? my man! I'm I a beast. These words. I can't say these. These are. <laughs> I've watched. I've read a lot of fiction books. Man. This man's just been reading a dictionary every time he goes to bed. Oh. He's like, all right, we're on P. <laughs> it's like I, I practiced this right, before right. bed. <laughs> you guys, you guys should look up this author, Brandon Sanderson. This is absolutely I don't the, final, like no the final empire, dude. Look how thick this is, mate. He's a big old boy. Yo, that's that's a lot of words, books? dude. Yo, that's a lot of words, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I've, I've actually read that book, and there's three of them. I've read all three twice, but I've got that as a present for one of my friends, IRL. Right. Badass. Whew. Right, sorry. Where do we get to? Hey, the idea was found in the wilderness. Yeah, Acolyte. Acolyte. Old Zamorok, old Zamorok and Acolyte. I'm sorry, uh, Mint, mate. I don't think the brain's big enough for you to be able to read this. Oh, <laughs> it's over. He has given up his pursuit of knowledge of oh, the gods. God. Uh -huh. Passed and has turned to the ruins of an ancient town in the final chance of Gelenor's most ruthless denizens. 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 Okay, I didn't know that one. Denizens. I didn't know it either. Was that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what so. it was like know. right there? Is that like uh denizens. that looks like a town? Right. Yeah, yep. it, in the wilderness, which is going to be a safe area. Unless you teleport to like everywhere in the PvP areas, I guess. When yeah. I first this saw is, this, this I was excited, and I'm still excited. But then I was looking that they were adding a lot of PvP world things, like they put the Varrock, you know, area in there, and then they got um the Lumbridge Bridge. Right. They're trying to recreate PvP worlds in the wild. I was like, what the fuck are they trying yeah. to do here? I'm excited for it, but like, you know, you can bank. Like if you scroll down, there's a bank. In the wilderness, yeah. bro. I think this is actually going to be pretty fucking good and good, good content. I think that it's going to increase activity in the world. For example, just one example, right? If you are a black chinchompa hunter, you don't have to run all the way from level thirty. Was it thirty three or thirty four? Wildy down to zero. You can just run now to level fifteen. Well, okay? the cool thing about boxing well, like, hobgoblins is... is no one runs anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, the big True. thing is the ability to just go to any PvP activity in this central hub. So yeah. like a new guy I, visiting this place, they'll be like, oh wow, all these attractions. It's like a it's like a theme park, you know? It's like a fucking Disney. I, the Disney I, of PvP. Honestly, you know? I think that if, if it, as long as it's not all singles around this area and there's some multi and some singles, so you can leave in a safe way a or a dangerous PvP, way. Yeah. Hot spot for one. This will be. I, I I really have high hopes for this. I'm really hoping this will bring back a little bit. Yeah, of because like, like that think about newbie it. beginner PvP. Yeah, yeah. Because think about it, right? A big issue of PvP nowadays is how fragmented the communities are, are, are. But if there's one place where you can just be there and then access everything, like one dude's just chilling. You know, he's like thinking, "Oh, PvP world guy." But then he sees some dude on the outside just fighting somebody in the wilderness. Then he might just do some wilderness shit too. Yeah. You know. It's like boom, boom. You know, everything connects, full circle. You know? Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, it shows where they're adding this area, and um, I know this area right because if you see graveyards of shadow right to the left, there's that uh, Varrock uh, water fountain that they added. But there, that's where a lot of one v ones would happen near the graveyard of shadows because you could just box a zombie to and get away. It's this right and then right below that yeah, this is right a whole multi area, right? I know, with the I know, I know. This is twenty line right here because Corp. The corp entrance, yeah. it's like twenty line. Well, they get TV. The last single clans hit that area. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, exactly. But south, but the the, the enclave, that area originally right now is just full of mammoths, right? And you got the obelisk right there, and it's multi. They so I wonder if it's not going to be multi anymore. They might need to get rid of the mammoths or some shit. Or move yeah, I think else. the mammoths are getting fucked, dude. Ray Romano is gone. Their their habitat's going. Ice Age is happening. <laughs> Where are the mammoths going to go? I'm hoping. I'm hoping that with this, the south exit or entrance and also the eastern one which is the lumbridge bridge i hope that when you hit that that line into the wilderness in both of those parts that it's instantly multi you have to hop that'd over be, a bridge. that'd be awesome you have to hop over a ditch i believe yeah oh okay i i see i see well, yeah, still, I, ho I hope that outside of those gates that it's multi or the bridge i hope it's all multi. I, I, I wonder how that's 
Um, I guess uh, to the north, you'll find the remnants of a long destroyed town square that branches off to the graveyard. Uh, to the east, we placed a bridge of water. So first, you know, the like I said, the top part next to the graveyard is the Varrock thing. They're trying to recreate the Varrock area. You even have that little area that looks like um, the staff shop, right? They're trying to get all the dimensions right. And then along to the east, we placed a bridge. So there's a little bridge crossing that pond, which I don't think that pond was originally there. There's only one pond there. I know way too much about this area. <laughs> Yeah, no one times. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's supposed to recreate the Lumbridge PvP uh, bridge to Goblin area. Uh, yeah. And then to the south, you'll find uh, a grimly marked entrance to the Enclave. And I think that's going to be the um, Ca- Camelot teleport. Or they talk about the bank. But yeah, finally to the west with the little markers and the barren and open entrance may remind you of Camelot. So they're recreating the camp. So all the areas that had a bank... In PvP areas, they're kind of recreating that in the deep wild. So they're trying to try yeah. to bring PvP worlds, deep wilderness. There's a 15 Should... combat bracket, so Bro. it's like almost the same shit. This is Bro. weird. You, can you imagine if Jagex did like the most ballsy... Con- imagine if Jagex took back their game and they literally just said the first update we're implementing without anybody voting on it is every single new player to this game spawns Dive. inside of the Ferox Enclave. <laughs> Imagine if that was where you spawned, dude. Oh, Every yo. player. You would get killed by the mammoths, not even the players. They would take you out. They're scary. They hit it's nine. Like the, uh, imagine if there was like a game mode where you could choose to be like a hardcore Iron yo. Man, for example. Yo. And you started there. Hard you know start. Thinking, bro, you know how they're talking about like the uh, the new player experience? They should do like a thing. like Because like Tutor Island is like, it's just, it doesn't show much. It just tells you, here's how to skill. Here's how to do quests, and here's that. That's pretty much it. You know that that's that's the core of it. But like, what yeah. if there's like uh like an advanced tutorial? Like, would you like to learn more about PvP? And then you click on that, boom! They like they kind of like send you to this place. Not like the actual one, but they just really kind of like have any tutorials on. Like people still don't know you can use your middle mouse button to like hold it in, around, and you can drag yeah. your window yeah. around so you can see. Like, but there's like, no tutorials yeah, they need on anything. To, they need to refine that. So like, cause like right now you just. Don't really know what activities are out there other than skilling and, qu- and questing because of Tutorial Island. They don't really tell you much about like fighting bosses. They don't tell you much about well, like it's easy for for PVM because everybody does content for that. But like, but like how to get into PVP? They don't have that because like this en- en- enclave thing would be perfect, right? Because like you want to yeah. check it out, you can go here and then you can see all the different like types of PVPs out there. Yada yada, you know. Exactly, cool. man. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd the, be, you know, they, yeah, they need yeah, integrated yeah. full circle. That's the thing. A lot of it's fragmented, and they don't, they don't have it properly, like you know, meshed in. So they gotta start doing that. Cause I mean, oh, best way to introduce idea. people to new stuff um, is at the start. You know, by far. But what would be cool? Cause you guys know the resource here in the wild, right? Completely dry, dead. Uh, yo, empty. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It does. It looks so unnatural in that fucking spot. It's gross. It looks so. So unnatural, if you go dude. to the the I picture right here, Farox Enclave, mm-hmm. right? It would be a perfect area. Um, if you scroll down a little bit on that map right there, um, perfect area. You see that left to the graveyard? There's all these trees. That's usually where like the ghosts and the bears are. If you know, it's like it's not a graveyard, but it's I don't know what it is right there. If you just add the resource area there with no gates, maybe like a little side panel so it's not completely open, but it looks natural. And there's yeah, a guy yeah, that notes dude. shit there. Don't make it a square, please. <laughs> like, <a square laughs> don't fucking, make it. A, but don't if you have a resource area right there, right where people could skill and you could TB and PK them, but they can note their shit, that would be insane, right? Because there's a bank right there. Uh, you could teleport right away, but you could also skill willy nilly. There's no there's gonna be a risk. lot of people trying to fuck you up. <laughs> that'd be, yeah, that'd be yeah. that'd be a really cool. That'd be a whole little community right there. We got the skillers to the left. We got the zombies to the right. And we got whatever the fuck's going on in the middle. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, it'd be very I, I don't packed. Think it'd be very packed. Would, like it'd be like that. a mini revs sort of deal. Yeah, roaming revs around the enclave. They're talking about bringing roaming revs back. Everyone wants to talk oh, about. Oh, that. dude, that'd be so good, man. Well, so that's gonna be really that. congested though how are people gonna like fight without getting tagged by revs and shit you know well i mean it'd be rare i don't know <laughs> they'd have them in multi in the multi areas mate. that would be good if they had them in the multi areas it'd encourage uh, they're gonna have to, to like figure out how to space all that stuff out you know <laughs> yeah because like you might randomly get P- pj by a mob or something you know right so we're dreaming here all yeah right? i know, I know. i'm saying i'm not saying you can't do it i'm just saying that we need to find a way to uh spread them out properly Within, yeah, I mean, because like you have a 360 area, you know, to spread things around. So, 
I would say like every like fifth world, there'd be a spawn every like 10 minutes randomly and you just switch around and try to find it. And then when you find other people, they're trying to find it. You can kill them. Right. And it kind of creates a, um, uh, a well, it's gotta chain. be a really beefy revenant then <laughs> like, Oh, hell yeah. And shit, you Fuck know? yeah. It's be gotta sweet, be like yeah. a demi boss of sorts. Dude, I'd be down. People have been wanting a roaming <laughs> boss. Maybe you give some. Well, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, we've implemented okay. the safeguard features. There's four entrances. So like I said, you have to jump over the wilderness ditch. Uh, and then disable them. In addition, each exit also has a buffer zone of a few tiles. So right when you o- jump over it, you can go a couple tiles in and you'll still be in the safe zone. Uh, I guess that's important. That's nice. I mean, it, actually, it's not the worst thing. Um, Bro, I, I honestly, man, I, I wish they just removed the ditches. Yeah, the ditches are gross, man. I, I prefer it without the ditches. Do you know, I, I loved it back in the day. Like, say, for example, like you chuck a Debo at some kid. And then he runs back into safe. The damage is cancelled now, but back in the day it used to go through, including on the Mage Bank levers. I would love for them to bring that back. I feel like really Edgeville, the rag rate is probably pretty rip, but deep wilderness, yeah, I'd be all for it. Um, I just I'm just scared of like people getting into PKing and then they get lured or baited and never come back out. Bro, that's... how do you get lured inside like no, I'm this sorry, shit, how do you get lured it... anywhere? People Yo, think dumb, about it, bro. Right? What do you mean? Think about, all it. Time. think about it. They don't even need the ditch because they could just make it if it's you've never been to the wilderness or whatever. Like and then you cross like where we're about to cross, you get a message that just says, Are you sure you want to answer? Check to never have this show up again, you know? Dude, wh- what if oh, they yeah. made it like dead man mode fog? So they fogged out everything but like the safe area, and right when you cross in that fog, you can see everything clearly and then the, the safe zone's fogged. Right? <laughs> so it's like there's no ditch, but cool. you know when I mean, there's like, a danger the zone. The big thing is they don't need the ditch because it's easy to just yeah. put a pop up message saying you shouldn't go unless you know that you're risking shit, and then there's like a little box that says check it so you never see this shit again. Done. I, I, I'm opposed to ditches, man. Yeah, I'd I mean, rather get rid of them. Yeah, no, nah, it's, gr- it's just annoying having to like click on that shit. Like, they, they won't, and I, I'd be very surprised if they did, but I would rather not have them. I feel like I prefer, I prefer the old system. Like I said, I liked it when the damage would follow you outside. Like, some Dude. of my fondest memories of PvP, like Varok Morty, for example, watching people get all the way to the guards... And then there'd be like two magic short bows that would hit them because they ran away, and then they would die in the safe zone. Like I liked watching that man, and it was it yeah. was a fu- it was a more fun experience. Dude, I have that I have an idea. Like with the fog, okay, you can't enter. Like so you so the fog, you can't see anything going on in the PvP zone. So you go in, it's all oh shit, there's someone waiting for me. So it's like oh, can I get back in the safe zone? No, you gotta wait seven seconds, right? So you click on the fog, a seven a, a countdown goes. And then you have like maybe two seconds to get in the safe zone. So you can't just automatically get back in anytime you want. You have to like start the process like an obelisk and it just kind of charges and you can go in. Right? <laughs> Wait for what? Right? And then you like can get the... um, to, like the safe zone. So there's a safe zone in the wild. Oh, and then you're right talking about the out, there's a fog, enclave? And you can't come back into the safe zone right away. Wait, you're talking about uh, the thought... enclave. You're talking about the enclave? Yeah, yeah, enclave, enclave. Oh. I- I'll tell you something I liked about what you just said with the enclave. If they made it so it's fog, so if you're in the inside looking out, you can't see who's out there. And if you're yeah. on the outside looking in, you can't see who's in there. I, w- I would like that. That sounds kind of like mysterious, mysterious. you know? Yeah, mysterious. Like you can just get piled right when you get in, right? If you don't know what you're doing, someone's just waiting there with like AGSG Mall, you know, Torvesta, just chilling there, dude. Ta-da! Videos! Yep. <laughs> Radio. Yeah. Um, By the way, we are over... at 47 minutes. Clam Wars and Last Band Standing? Did you want to read that one? Me? Right. Yeah, go for it. I you gotta I'm... pop those vocals. Uh, the Enclave was from the start designed to be a new home for Clan Wars and Last Man Standing. With that in mind, we've given both of these mini games a wilderness facelift. Starting with Last Man Standing, create a new lobby area that splits into three waiting rooms across multiple floors. Competitive will be easily accessible through the ground floor, casual on the first, and high stakes on the top floor. To help players easily identify which game mode is close to launching, we've added a new display when you enter the Last Man Standing building. It shows the current waiting players total as well as how many are needed to begin a round. If the thought of climbing the stairs is too tiring, have no fear. Lisa will be on hand to quickly send you to the relevant lobby to save you extra clicks. Cool. That's, That's actually cool. pretty Ooh. nice. That's pretty nice. Yep. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Lisa and Justine have slight updates to there to better fit their new wilderness aesthetic on their way up from the desert. Uh, Who the matter. fuck is Lisa and Justine? It uh, even has a handy <laughs> slot in the top to the like Drake and Josh. Gold. Sorry. 
On their way out from the desert, they made a short diversion and purchased a new coffer, which can be found. The hub it has every handy slot in top in the top to deposit your heart and gold. Clan Wars has also enjoyed a bit of a revamp. The area has been condensed. It has an additional couple of floors for players to time private with the teams before entering the portal. Just north of Clan Wars waiting area is a new church for battle rary players. To rest and restore their stats by praying at the pools in the church, you'll receive the benefits of entering and leaving Clan Wars free for all portal without the hassle of extra clicks. Receive the extra benefits of entering and leaving Clan Wars free for all portal without the hassle and extra clicks. So they're doing Clan oh, Wars okay, okay. floors? I guess I'd have to see it because my brain's not yeah, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> picturing it. Yeah. They did really good with most of the words, though. Like, yeah. Confusing, but yeah, okay, this This both. one's slightly. This one's slightly confusing. Yeah. But, but like with the, this restores uh, to rest and restore their stats. So it resets their stats. So and it's also acts as leaving as a leaving and entering mechanic. Mm. Entering and leaving the clan wars free for all portal without the hassle of extra clicks. Oh, so basically you click on it, it will re reset your stats and then you can leave at the same time. Does it reset your skull? Oh, uh, it doesn't say about that. No, I want it back. That's yeah. so good. Oh, I probably won't. Um, cool. cool. Yeah. Adding actually. a lot of stuff. PvP wise, yeah, there are elements, updates, clan wars updates, a new fucking part of the wild. Uh, I really like the fact that they're trying to, you know, put them all together into one place. A hub is nice. That's that's. I'm cool. just glad they're bringing up subjects, even if they're not talking about them a lot. Like at least yeah, they're, they're bringing up it. wilderness bosses. You know, it's like ah, oh, yep. maybe. <laughs> so, <thanks. laughs> Appreciate it. You know. Yeah, I like that too, man. I yeah, want more. We can but, quickly okay. go over the this last bit. Old school art direction, more vampires. <laughs> yep. Uh, Let's go. All right, we should just oh, okay. Over it, huh? All right, I'll speed it. Yeah, Mod speed Eagle, it. associates art director, here with an update with Fuji Art Team. Old school has been a very distinct visual style. I agree. Art has been amazing. Like the only thing that doesn't look bad, Rune, like you know, update wise, is just art. They always bring it every time. Uh, we do not aspire to look anything like Runescape as much as we love Art Street's art style. Yeah. What no, the no. fuck? What are we? What are we talking about here? No, he's saying they don't, they don't want to copy the R Street style. Oh, when he says RuneScape, he means okay. It's good. Street. Fuck that. Good. good. Yeah, I'm not a big I, fan I, of some of the. I love the old school. Yep. Style. Uh, well, we just mainly the cosmetics. I hate the cosmetic shit. Without the cosmetics, everything looks good. I was but, actually thinking otherwise. a cosmetic for your pets. You know, trimmed pet. No, okay. Nah. I got a whole idea. Oh, uh, we were looking at ways to modern modernize the graphical features of the game. I don't really want that, but sure, people do, so whatever. The art team will never do anything that will harm your core gameplay experience. Ultimately, we want to bring you the players old school along with the journey uh, with the iconic art style that's preserved. What do you mean when he says modernizing so, hey, the art point, style? Point two, though. Um, we want to identify the right. DNA of what makes old school visuals distinctive and push that even further. So they're, basically, yeah. we need to know what our core art style is. You know what I mean? Like, like, a, like a standard. Because every time yeah. we get like a new, you know, uh, artist, obviously they all have their own ideas and creativity, and and like we need to, we need to like basically whenever we have new artists, they need to know what is like the standard that we have to follow. Yeah, they should just show them like I, a rune scheme. So of that's what they say. mean by the DNA, you know. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I personally think like the new stuff they've done with Darkmare and also with the uh, the sins of the Favor. The, the final quest for the Elven quest line, they've done a fantastic job there. Like, I've really enjoyed looking at it. Just, just visually. It's very impressive. It, it's like it's very impressive, yet it still has like an old school theme, I feel. I, I'm a personal I'm a personal fan. I don't know yeah. if that's the same with everyone else, yeah, but I do so know. If you look at when, the bottom, when Vea first came out, man, I, I was like, this place is shit, but I love the art style. I love the art style. Yeah, it was it was Mod West. Mod West did a lot of it and Mod Ghost. I think Mod West is still around, so you know, as long as he's there, he's gonna keep probably dishing out Zaya stuff. I wish we could it's... hire them for like artwork. <laughs> you know Bro. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But like, look, Custom look at like, game. look at some of the stuff they've done, like with uh, Tob, for example. Like, Fairly. how good is Tob, man? Like the artwork they've done there. Like they have done a very very good freaking job mate i'm mm -hmm. very impressed with the stuff they do yeah, yeah. It, like like this picture here it shows you what what they mean by inconsistency with some of the styles Different feet what the fuck <laughs> no like you're going around they're, looking they're, at feet they're basically of talking going, about <laughs> how some of the mobs are well defined like you know neck rounds have like no fucking toes 
but new bosses have toes right and it's just like the different styles that are not exactly the same you know what i'm gonna go out on a limb and say fuck toes dude let's take them all out i want runescape toeless uh yeah. that's kind of the way i want to play man i don't know i like i like the big old like wooden feet feel to runescape you know where you're wearing some of those like old ass wooden shoes mm-hmm. I like that. <laughs> yeah i mean i wouldn't change like neck rails it's just going for, for further what are they gonna stick to me is true man can you imagine neck reel toes that's like so amazing <laughs> <laughs> oh right so sorry are, are they saying they want to find the what standard. are they saying? they want to find a standard for future like you know art like future updates like you know for mobs and wall bosses what kind of standard yeah. are they looking for like well defined or you know like stuff like that so are they are they saying they know what they want or they're sort of no they're it? still yes. looking at it yeah. they're still looking at it bro you know what some they haven't failed on, even though I don't think that's really a fail. I think they're doing great. Um, it's uh, not only just drawing the monsters, but color patterns, you know? Like when you walk into the Zaya magic area, was it Arce- Arceus? I don't know. Uh, it's beautiful, right? They, they pattern that shit like they just, oh, man, art team, bro. You guys are killing it. I, yeah, you're fine. The art team's you're always fine. Could you imagine if PvP updates were like this consistently looked into? It's like, we got to fix the toes of the monsters, you know? Bro, <laughs> bro. That'd be Beautiful. so sick. Right? Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. They they do so good. Props, man. Beautiful. Uh what's 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 down here, by the way? Yeah, they're Secure. just talking about like how they uh how they're gonna go about you know drawing the, the standard, toes. keeping the standard and like, you know. But they but they're also talking about how they go about making something. Like making a like a mob or something, you know, with a concept. Okay. Yeah, the brief, the reference, the moon board, the mood board, moon concept board. art, the concept art, and then finalizing concept. So these are the steps, you know. But I don't think we need to, you know, go through them. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, Dude, how just... much do you think if the like one of the RuneScape artists if they quit and they made RuneScape hentai, how much do you think their Patreon would make? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even do, know. Do you, do you say half a million? I say I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I said the... half a million. <laughs> Dude. You've got all the skillers, so Mo- it's like, can't be seen. Over a new job. <laughs> Dude, I'm quitting. I think it's <laughs> bank, bro. I'm sorry if a RuneScape artist sees this and quits their job and starts drawing hentai, but uh, you could be making a lot of money. Uh, yeah. But there's please, a lot, there's a, a lot of perverts out there, man. I'm oh, sure yeah. people would buy it up. <laughs> you could even throw me a promo code. I could promote it on my uh, videos. Do ten percent off Neve's nips? You know, <laughs> bro. There is a fucking RuneScape uh, Reddit that is about stuff like that, dude. How the fuck do you know about that, huh, Ryan? I randomly found it on Twitter, bro. Oh, buddy, dude. He he's like the dude, leader. Look, you have he's to understand, all right? If you if you, you are involved in RuneScape Twitter, half of the posts are literally people liking. Uh, yeah, those uh, like, you know, ethos yeah. and their patrons right. and shit. Dude, I that, know, I hate that, it, man. I want yeah, to and then some, once lie. in a while, you'll find some random ass Reddit link that that goes to some weird. Like, dude, there are some, there's some wild yep. shit. There's some wild okay, shit. So, I'm only saying this because I know Rice. He's showing us the way, dude. Rice's <laughs> mustache is not the only dirty thing on him. Huh? <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> yo, this is not dirty, not, bro. You talking dude, about. Dude, they call dirty we're not gonna, you, yeah. dirty. We're not kink shamers, mate. You can, you know, nah, whatever floats your boat, man. Bro, nah, throw nah, us nah, out, nah, dude. Nah, Next nah, time, if that floats your boat, there's nothing wrong with that, buddy. Okay, bro. Oh, by the way, we are 57. So this is what is this? Old school's in and outs. Yeah, what, uh, what, what's so a brief, basically what they're talking about like the new mods, mod Argo, Q analyst, first of our new faces, mod chat, mod Mac, Macking, a junior content developer is up next. Cool. Before we read anymore, I'd like to do a game where we all say the names of the mods we know, and then when you run out, you you give up and see how high we can get. Uh, all right. Let, start. Wait, what? Wait, can I can I go first? Can I go first? Because I really all don't right. know any. Okay. Is that okay? okay. Go right. for it, man. How many mods? Right, do you I'll I'll start with one that I don't know. Mod Ian. The guy that we had on the music guy, his name was Ian, wasn't it? Mod Ian. Yeah, he's, Mod he's Ash. In, yeah. Mod wait, eight, wait what? It's just one each, right? Wait, I thought we were doing as many as we could. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna oh. see how he goes, dude. Oh, okay. I want to see. Okay, yeah, he... yeah. So, Mod Ian, Mod Ash, Mod Acorn, Mod Archie, uh, Mod Rock. Dude, you've met these people. I know. Right? I'm really bad. With, I'm really people. bad with names, dude. Uh. Uh, Mod Weef, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Mod Arcane. Ten. I don't even know who that Nine. is. I, I did. I got. I got yeah. six, man. I got. I'm really bad with names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, Rice probably knows more. So I'll go no, next. I don't, right? bro. I, I don't. Dude, I knew the old ones. I'm not gonna say any of these either. Uh, that's Mod Husky. Here. You know, Mod Husky's one. Oh, oh Mod Husky, Mod Wolf, right? Uh, Mod well, Wolf's not working anymore, bro. He's not. He's not. Bro, bro. Yeah, the, yeah. the memory of Wolf is still there. Okay. Oh, dude, right, 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 Mod, right. Mod are easier. Mod Stone. Mod Come on. Yeah, dude. Oh, Mod Logan. Oh, dude. I'm so uh, uh, dude. Uh, I should have thought about that longer, man. God. Mod Blue Yo, Adi, Mod, Yo, Mod, Mod Core, you know. Mod Acorn, um, Mod fuck. Rogue, Mod Rogue, uh, Mod Oasis, <laughs> Mod Infinity. Oh my Boom, god, this Mod one, Jagex Infinity, bro. <laughs> you, oh man, there is you so know, many mods. Holy fuck! Yeah, I don't want to cheat because somebody. if you go down here, boom, every mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh god these are all the they, these are the current uh, old oh that's right kirian uh, yeah dude acorn arcane archie argo ash banjo oh, boko bonsai bruno curse Digo, ed and Ro, fed x Bro. flippy gains you think they call each other that in the Hello. office acorn Husky. you know Apo like, banjo you know like arcane <laughs> you know, <laughs> i always say that too my boy Arcane, are you there? Impact I bet they do. Gender. J C John C. Oh, the OG. He's still there. Can Dossi, Kyrian, Lenny. Oh, who does everybody know what say Kyrian, bro? Lenny, Lonnie, Lyric, Mac Melia, Mike D. That's you. Nick Nasty. Ma Nasty. What? Who's Ma Nasty? I never I swear, oh, man. Nasty. He's probably the one who Oasis, made a little Rock, quicker than he needs to be. Uh, Rise, DW, <laughs> Sween, Tide, Vagar, Wheat, and West. Damn. They were originally going to put Neve in uh, Torax like, legs. He goes, slap some tacits on that bro, bitch. That's like 20 plus people, bro. Man, that's crazy. That's um, crazy. Yeah, that's a lot I think of months, man. I think that was everything, though. I think we yeah, covered yeah. that we shit. We could go in-depth on the last two, but I feel like those are more like... Yeah, we're it's, not gonna. Kind of weird. Welcome to the team mods. We're weird. not gonna remember your name unless you, you know, DM me and talk to me, dude. And then I'll remember you. So you know, if you're watching, hit uh, me up. Yeah, but yep. yeah, welcome to these new people. But yeah, I need to keep up with the new guys. I have not been keeping up yep. with the new new mods. How would how would we summarize everything we covered? Leagues. Uh, well, let's. Man updates, group yeah, Iron Man. Yeah, let me. Uh, There's just so much. Uh, new PVP shit. LMS yep. updates. Yep. <sighs> A lot of stuff, bro. Right. A lot of stuff. Mm. I think potential, man. I feel like there's some really good stuff in there. Uh, definitely, I feel like there man. Is. I wish I saw the I'm not, I'm not big into PvP, but I'm liking the idea that they're trying to go with this time. Something different. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it was annoying when they kept doing the Bounty Hunter stuff, and they never fixed the problem. That was yeah. the obvious problem, which was boosting. They never fixed well, it. So it was like we'll see how bad boosting point? is before. Yeah, you know? but now it's like they're going in a different direction. They're like, all right, how about we create a hub that brings it all together? You know what I mean? They're like, they're figuring outside cool. the box. Yeah, I'm like, yes, this is what you need. A queuing system, yes, that's what we've needed for probably ten years now. You know, like those are yeah. nice. I like I like seeing things that could definitely improve the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Those those are like you can't really go wrong with having a queuing system. You can't really go wrong with having a central hub for all your PVP activities. Like it's yeah. it's hard to go wrong. But like the other things that they kept trying to do with Bounty Hunter, I was like, bro, you're being a dead horse, man, seriously. Either just get rid yeah. of the emblems or get rid of the emblems. Like, yeah, there's really not much to say about yeah, it. I only like to be alive horses, so that's I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean you saying, don't want to be either of the horses. Yeah, you know I'm saying? just kidding. Don't touch the horses, man. I, it's nice to be positive about RuneScape, though. Yeah, for uh, me, though, the clan yeah. thing and like the group Iron Man thing, you know, those are things I'm, I would look forward to for sure. Dude, all the time on stream, people and the are death like, mechanics, I guess. What could you fix about the wild? What do you hate about the wild? And I'm always surrounded this negativity, right? You know, oh, shitty races, clans, baits, lures, shit's dead. I am always negative about the wild. It has fucked me up oh, mentally so that I haven't even realized. Bro, bro, so worse. So nice to be positive. Uh, sounds like a so fun nice. game. I, I think, yeah. dude, I think there's a lot of potential around this hub. And mm, I can't absolutely. wait until it comes out, and I can't wait to test it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna start buying some like return sets right now. To be Dude, honest, when with the you. hub comes out, me and you subathon. All right. Yes. You want to yes. stream? Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. mate. Man, that sounds awesome. Right, boys. Let's wrap it up. Is there anything that you would like to say to our neglected? Yeah. Subscribers? Well, you know, we can talk about our scheduling real quick. You know. Yes. Yeah, so we we've sure. been we'll in be, uh... for a month, but 
you know, you, you guys, what do you guys got, got got to say for that? You know, like personal. Well, I was giving oh. to charities and you know going out on missions and feeding <laughs> the homeless. <laughs> I just, yeah. Well, I to, to be honest, things are just being a bit crazy, haven't they? The last couple well, months for you guys, I've just been doing normal. Dude, you know, things are doing, still yeah, still kind of crazy. You know? I mean, yeah. outside of the, I, the the Corona crazy, you know, you guys, you know. The yeah. riots and everything, man. Hopefully everyone's safe, by the way. Be safe. We're not going to talk about that, but it has been <clears throat> super crazy, so you can kind of see why we haven't been on top of our game. Well, yeah, yeah, I've just been busy. We've been busy working on our own stuff, for sure. But, you know, always trying to make time. We're always trying to make time for this. All right, okay, <laughs> we're going to get off now.